Sarah and Christina have been roommates all throughout college. Now that they have graduated, it is time to divide up the items that were purchased over the last four years. Use the adjusted winner procedure to determine who gets what. So the first step of the adjusted winner procedure is to give each person 100 points to distribute amongst the items. So that's already been done for us. So now what we're going to do at this point is go through each item, and whoever gave it the most points, we're going to give it to them. So with furniture, Sarah has 25 over the 20, so Sarah would get the furniture. For the clothes, Sarah gave it more points. Okay, the books are tied, so we'll leave that alone for a minute. With the kitchen items, Christina gave more points. So all together, if I were to add all this up, Christina or Sarah would have 55 points and Christina would have 50. So at this point, it is not fair because Sarah has more points than Christina. So the tie is going to temporarily go to Christina. But now Christina has more points. So what we need to do is figure out what Christina needs to give up. So she needs to give up part of something that she has. So of the two things that have been circled on Christina's side, what we're going to do is divide her points by Sarah's point to figure out what's called the point ratio. So for Christina, 10, or she has the books in the kitchen items, so 10 over 10 is 1, which means that they want that item just as much as the other person. For the kitchen items, we have 50 over 35. So dividing that, we get about 1.4. So what we're going to do is split up the item that they want about the same. So the closer you are to 1, the closer that you are with your points. So 10 to 10 is exactly 1. So this is the item that we're going to split. Okay, so the books are going to get split up. which means that neither one is going to get all of the books. So what we're going to do is set up an equation where we need to figure out how much of the books each person is going to get. So I'm going to assign a variable, let me use x, that's usually the more common one, to doesn't really matter, let me do maybe to Sarah. So I'm going to give Sarah x amount. And let's figure out what Christine would get. So just off on the side here, so here's a little side note. If x was 30%, then Christina would get 70%. If x was, let's say, 65%, then Christina would get the other 35%. So if you notice, to figure out the other part of it, we take the original percentage and take it away from 100%. So to figure out what the other part is, so the other part is 100% minus x. So writing that as a decimal, this will be 1 minus x. So on Christina's side, I'm going to assign her 1 minus x of those books. Okay, so to set up the equation, what we want is Sarah to equal Christina. So we don't want someone to get more than the other person. So we want Sarah to equal Christina. Okay, so on Sarah's side, everything that's circled, so the 25 and the 30 and then the 10x. will equal everything on Christina's side, which is 10 times 1 minus x plus 50. And so now at this point we have a linear equation. So the first thing we want to do is distribute, and then we'll combine anything that's alike. So on the left side I have 55 plus 10x, equaling distribute that 10, so 10 minus 10x. Okay, so 55 plus 10x equals 60 minus 10x. So getting the x's on one side, I'm going to add 10x. So that gives me 20x, and then I'm going to subtract the 55 to get the number on the other side. And so those cancel, those cancel. So 20x equals 60 minus 55, which is 5. 
So then dividing both sides by 20, x is equal to 5 over 20, or the same as 1 quarter, or we could say 25%. Okay, so who gets 25%? Well, that was the x. So if I go back to the table there, x was on Sarah. So Sarah is going to get 25%, which means that Christina is going to get the other 75%. So the final allocation of the items is that Sarah... Anything that's circled was the furniture, the clothes, and then she's X, so she gets 25% of the books. Christina gets the other 75% of the books, and then the other thing that was circled was the kitchen items.